Worlds of Homelessness is a project that started with many, many conversations here um, at the Goethe Institute Los Angeles with different people, organizations um, around thoughts on homelessness and its uh, related themes. Um, and we then decided to um, bring together um, people from different disciplines and um, different countries um, through the network of the Goethe Institute um, to discuss homelessness as a global housing issue. Hello, Goethe Institute. This is Crucial, organizer in Skid Row. I'm talking to you now from downtown LA sitting in front of one of our art pieces by Shows Art. Um, the main thing we're doing in Skid Row right now is we've set up sanitation stations throughout the 50 block radius. So that should be at least over 50 porta potties. Um, hopefully they'll time it by two, and we'll have 100 to cover the 50 blocks. But we have a porta potty sitting between each um, street. So each block has one porta potty. So in a four block radius, we at least have three porta potties and three sanitation stations. So the main thing is keeping our hands clean and making sure we stay, you know, socially aware of keeping clean. Because there's no social distancing in this game at all. There's no way for us to stay social distancing. So hope you guys are practicing staying safe. Peace. Hi, I'm John Malpied. Uh, I work with Los Angeles Poverty Department in Skid Row, Los Angeles, a neighborhood that is a low-income neighborhood and only exists because of the ongoing organizing that has prevented it from being built over. Now, the question is how to create normative communities in low-income communities, and that is to listen to the ideas coming from the community and to invest in them to make them happen. And to do that, you got to do more organizing. People overgeneralize about homelessness because it's easier to exclude people experiencing homelessness if they don't see them as individuals. I share this message from Los Angeles, the city of angels, where the COVID-19 crisis has exposed and deepened housing precarities. Thousands of unhoused Angelinos have to make do on the streets, thousands more face the risk of becoming houseless. More than ever before, it is necessary to demand the decommodification of housing. And that is not housing in the form of never enough affordable housing. That is not housing in the form of homeless shelters that warehouse the poor. That is housing in the public domain. That is housing as a social good. That is housing justice. And housing justice is not a gift. It has to be demanded. It has to be won. Auf der Begegnung sind soziale Räume. Soziale Räume, die wir selbst schaffen können, indem wir nach draußen gehen, indem wir mit Fremden reden, indem sich so soziale Kreise überschneiden. Kreise ursprünglicher Fremde. Das schafft Vertrauen. Und Vertrauen braucht die Gesellschaft. Dringend. I think for architecture to manifest empathy, it needs to reflect a much broader spectrum of humanity and the lived reality of ordinary people. And not just reflect it, but also in the process celebrate and uplift it. A responsible architectural solution is one that is part of the context and enhances it. It is also flexible, allowing adaptation through time. It is also beautiful, bringing moments of emotion and memories. It is economically viable and sustainable over time. Therefore, it will deliver a solution for a better quality of life. To the question of how to design space so that we can live together more equally. Equal space starts with equal access to that space. The most important design task for the architect 
might be to look for every opportunity to include open and accessible space in all projects, and especially in every community. Mode für mich ist ein Statement, die unsere Ehrlichkeit nie kleiden wird. Ich bin Hadamez Eger, Exist Aktivist und Modedesigner. So you are asking me about home, and well, I just refuse to answer. And this is not only a provocation, but a real methodological point. The question for me is not what is home, but in a sense, how is home, and more specifically, how people can be allowed to build and then to live in the kind of home that they want. A home, in a sense, that can help them to nurture and to enhance our lives. This is not just a question of housing, but a question of how we decide to inhabit, so in a sense, how we decide to homing into this world. And to me, at the very end of the day, so to speak, that question needs to start from collectivity, autonomy, and solidarity. Thank you very much.